Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books and magazines and Lenny the Lion is with us today and we're going to be looking at this beautiful book here called The Wisdom of Kuan Yin an oracle book of guidance and prayers from the Divine Feminine now this is this is going to be so I'm excited for this one I bought this book ages ago and it's it's been one of the ones I'm so excited to get into. So let's go and have a look at this one. <laughs> so little Lenny the lion's going to sit down here. I, I chose Lenny because I thought lions are quite sort of um, powerful. And I get the impression that this book is going to be quite a powerful one. So I don't know nothing about it, but I saw it in the second hand shop. And I quickly opened it up and I saw like beautiful artwork. So I just thought I've got to get it. I wish you could see this one. I wish you could feel it though because the cover is like spongy. Can you hear that look? <laughs> it's like you could pump it up but if you had a thing. Alana Fairchild. I don't know if that's the artist or something. But look, what's it say here? Kuan Yin. Radiant with divine compassion. Kuan Yin, beloved goddess of compassion, is reaching to you now with her blessings. So I imagine Kuan Yin must be some sort of deity or something. Look at the beautiful colours of that as well, though. So let's get into this. Well, little Lenny's got to let us in. It's one of the rules. Pop! It's very, um,. Very nice colour that. The Lion of Fairchild. The Blue Angel Publishing. I like that logo. So this one was made in 20, 2014. Adapted from the Oracle card set, Kuan Oracle. First published in 2012. Um. No matter what your religious, cultural or spiritual background, Kuan Yin loves you without condition. She will call to you to believe in yourself. This is going to be, you are a beautiful soul and you have the power to co-create a beautiful life through which your soul light can radiate and uplift others, reminding them of the way of love rather than fear. That's what I've been all about at the moment. It's how fear and love are like... The driving force of life so you're either fear is either running the show or love and free will is just a, a decision between fear or love that's what i'm noticing look how beautiful this is look. bamboo moon look did you know that there are no mistakes in the universe and all events circumstances Relationships and situations are in, in, are in, unfolding in perfect imperfection with the timing and intelligence of the divine plan. <laughs> That's cool. This is amazing. Not only are we getting beautiful text, but we're getting beautiful paintings as well. Blessing to the moon maiden. Oh look, we can, we've got little um, prayers as well. These are just so beautiful. Blossoms of the Sky Dancer. Oh look at the textures on that look. You can even see like... I love that when you see the bits of... Bits of paint on it. Call of the Dancing Crane. See, I actually feel like these beings exist. There's a universe or a dimension out there full of these sort of creatures. Dance of the Butterfly Queen. Look at that beautiful pose.
Oh, look at that one as well. <laughs> Daughter of the Phoenix. Look at her fingers like she's doing... What's she doing there? Something like... That's quite weird actually. Doing something like that or something. Do you notice how a lot of them have got like... Halos around them. I like that. Drink from the Emerald Fountain. That reminds me of Shiva, that one. That one reminds me of what I imagine Mother Ayahuasca looks like. Destiny of the Divine Mother. I've heard people who take Ayahuasca meet what they call Mother Ay Ayahuasca. I imagine she looks a bit like that. Eight Immortals. Hey look, all the Immortals are blokes. It's quite interesting. So you see that the female is actually powerful. She's sort of in, con she's sort of in control of these blokes. The message you the messages you have been receiving that are unconditionally loving, fearless and encouraging of you to grow and be your true self are from the higher guidance. The eight immortals and other beings of the divine love and light are guiding you. Empress of the Pearl. Strange haircut. Oh, I love these. I love it when they're doing poses like that. Enter the Jade Temple. They've got beautiful outfits as well, haven't they? Lotus flowers. Gates of Heaven, look. That's the Gates of Heaven. So what, do you walk through there and you sort of teleport into heaven or something? Hear the yellow tiger mother. I love the way they're sort of, it's almost as if they're sort of somehow made of like water or something. But they're, they're very sort of flowing. Immortal treasures. I like how they're delicately touching things as well. Ivory Swan Goddess. Maiden Magoo. He <laughs> That sounds a bit like um B B uh, Magoo Custard Diddle Rock. Oh, I've got to look into this artist. Yeah, this is it, look. Many hands of the goddess. We're going to see creatures like this when we die. Imagine that, having all those hands. How would you even... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 16 hands. Little bit like a sort of spider, isn't it? Like a spider lady or something. I love this. Mother Fierce. Look there's, look, there's loads of them inside of the one being. Mother of Mercy. She looks nice. I like the colours. Nectar of the Lotus. They're very sexy, feminine. And a little bit mysterious as well. Because you feel a bit as if they're sort of um, trying to seduce you. Like, look at that with the music. You could imagine her sort of, sort of pulling you towards her with the music. Orchard Prince, Prince Princess of 
destiny. I like that one. <laughs> See, look, is she naughty or Princess of the Autumn Harvest? Cool. Radiant Moon of Compassion. Again, look, we've got the sort of. You sort of wonder whether these beings are actually planets or something. That's nice. Reveal the peacock beauty. I've always had a, th a feeling that music is somehow the language of truth. Wouldn't it be good if you could talk with music? So when you opened your mouth, like musical notes come out or something. Sacred river, young youngsters. That one looks a bit like a ghost. Oh, this is a nice one. Shining lotus. Look how beautiful her face is, look. Really beautiful. Sisters of the Star Blossoms. Five of them. Hmm. I like this. Hey, look. Sisters of the Sun Rising. There's four of these ones. They all play music. Well, she's got music. I think she's got. Yes. Or is that? That's either music or some sort of um, psychedelic pipe or something. Yeah, look. What, what is that? Sound the fierce flute. It's a flute. I can imagine her existing in the depths of the ocean. Almost looks like she's got chains around her. Got a little animal there, look. Spin the silken thread divine. I like her little feet, look. I like the shape of... I've always liked the shape of feet. Sweeping sister willow. Again, let's play music. Touching rising. Someone on the front. It's so beautiful. Ten sisters of light. Imagine dying and and, be, and these these coming to you because I you can almost like imagine it's surrounded by music and it would be like a super sensory experience. The amorous loot. Book of Changes. Just like a beautiful but unusual melody, the divine plan is unfolding through your life. Although it isn't always pr predictable. Kun Yin is guiding you in the right direction. I'm going to have to look into um, Kin Kun Yin. It must be the dance unveiling. I like this one. Got tattoos. Oh, I love this one. The Lotus Throne. The the towel. I love this one as well.
God, look at those fabric folds, look at those. You can really feel the weight of that outfit. The threshold. At the threshold you stand. Before you lies a way of being that is beyond fear. It is a sacred pass passing through a karmic veil into a new life of empowerment, peace, spiritual service to humanity and joy in your soul. That's cool, isn't it? Look. The Yin Empress. To the Celestial Mountain. Another little halo type thing. That must that must mean something, these um yeah look. Maybe that's like some sort of frequency coming out of them or something. Turquoise Lotus Mother. That's a nice one. What's it doing that? Look, they're all doing stuff like that. I wonder what that's all about. You think that's a way of um, moving energy around your body or something? Veil of Shadows. She's got one of those as well. Weave the Future Golden. This is so beautiful. Hey, look, about the author. Alana Fairchild is a soul whispering devoted to the awakening of your soul so that you may live your highest divine destiny this lifetime. Alana lives and breathes the divine, invites you to do the same through her music, voice, meditations and writings, all offered in service to you, to your own divine awakening and inspiration. Alana is the creator of numerous meditation CDs by Blue Angel. Look, Alana's website, alanafairchild.com. So who did the illustrations then? Yay! Here he is, look. About the artist, Zeng Hoe. Oh, this is cool. So she's done the writing, and he did the, he did the artwork. And there's his little website, look. You see more of... Oh, I'm definitely going on to this. Zheng Ho is a gifted young painter with a deep love for ancient Chinese culture. He uses mainly classical Western oil painting techniques to create his large works of art. This is what I'm saying. We're seeing these things here and they're beautiful. But imagine seeing these in person. Imagine, imagine if this was actually life-size. That would be amazing. And that's it. You can go on to blueangelonline.com. I'll put all the links in the description and everything. But that was a that was beautiful. I knew it was going to be like that. Little Lenny loved that one. <laughs> I really hope you did. And I, well, like I say, I'm going to look into this artist now because. Maybe this artist has got their own book or something. They might have more art books. And I want to get some meditations from Alana as well. Because I could tell already that the writing was very... It was like sort of... You know when you read stuff and it feels powerful? A beautifully put together book as well. This is one of those things where... You know, little things are beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that. It was The Wisdom of Kuan Yin, an oracle book of guidance and prayers from the Divine Feminine. <laughs>